Good morning. It's Fro from Stereo King. Today we're going to go over digital radio harnesses. So stay tuned. So depending on what year your vehicle is, you may very well need a digital radio harness. The digital radio harness supplies information to tell the radio to turn on, amplifier to turn on, chimes in the car, all sorts of goodies. You very well may need one. But how do you know which one you need? Well, I'm going to show you today all the options available, or some of the options, not all of them. And uh, hopefully it'll help you out. Let's start with the most affordable one. Most of these that I happen to bring up here today are from early 2000s to 2006 GMC products. The first one we have here is an LC GM24. This is a, the low cost version of a digital radio harness. These are going to be for vehicles that have no amplifiers, you're not doing a video radio, no steering wheel controls, things like that. You may be able to get, get away with this solution. Next up in Pack Audio's lineup is going to be the RP3 series. The 3 series will do Bose amplifiers, no steering wheel controls. You may also end up with one that looks like this. Depending on what kind of vehicle you have, this one happens to be for Chrysler. Once again, no steering wheel controls will do amplified cars. The version after that is going to be the RP4 version. There are several RP4 versions depending on what vehicle you own. RP4 is going to add steering wheel control capability to your vehicle. So it'll do the features that the RP3 and the LC GM24 will do, but it'll also add the ability to do steering wheel controls. Last on our list, at least for, the, for this vehicle, is the RP5s. The RP5s are gonna do steering wheel controls, amp turn on, any external features, and it also is gonna give you the ability to do OnStar on GM vehicles. Let's switch to a different brand. The iDatalink Maestro modules. iDatalink Maestro modules are going to give you the ability to do all the features that the pack modules do, plus a few more, such as show your gauges, vehicle information, and possibly heater controls and other adjustable features. But you also need to buy a harness for your vehicle. Last but not least is Access. This is not actually a vehicle module, this is just a steering wheel control but the Axis is a brand that also makes modules for your vehicle. Depending on what kind of vehicle you have, you may have to purchase a Axis module. 2005 Dodge products do not work with Pack Audio. They only work with Axis for the digital amplifier turn on. There are other solutions such as bypassing the factory amplifier or certain Toyota Lexus vehicles. They also have a digital turn on. The Metra TYTO is the one that works for them. So depending on what kind of vehicle you have is a matter of which one of these you should choose, what features you need. If you're watching this on YouTube, I will leave links below to figure out which side is right for you. If you're watching us on Facebook, feel free to give us a call. Thank you and have a great day.